Welcome back to my F1 2016 mobile career mode. Today we have episode 37 at the Canadian Grand Prix. If you missed the race from Monaco, be sure to go check that out before you've seen this one. It was a very interesting race. There's a bit of gameplay on screen now. Basically, because I already have a pretty big lead in the Drivers' Championship after taking some, well, absolute dominating results, I decided to sacrifice my race to help my teammate Kimi Raikkonen get decent points to extend our lead in the Constructors. Let's hope to continue that today. Welcome to race day here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. The grandstands are filling up nicely and there was a real buzz around the paddock this morning that today's race could be a cracker. So for the second race, running qualifying was really disappointing for me. I don't know if you guys remember when we raced at this track in Season 1, but the track limits were just shocking, and I had my lap invalidated because I allegedly corner cut even in my eyes when I didn't. It was no different to any of the eSports guys. Thankfully, my teammate Jimmy Raikkonen secured a brilliant pole, so we're still in the box seat to get some big points today as we're now underway in Montreal. It's a good initial start from us. We're already trying to get alongside Fernando Alonso. There's a Force India on the left -hand far, far left-hand side there. I think that was Nico Hulkenberg into Turn 1. It's a very short run to the first corner. Alonso's going to go around my outside. So is Sergio Perez. Hulkenberg behind me. I'm now up into P10, but look at this. Raikkonen down in P7. It's been a dreadful start from my teammate who began on pole. I hope he's not going to succumb to that glitch where the AI just randomly fall to the back of the field or your teammate does. We're going up the inside now of Kimi Raikkonen. We're going to try and send it round the outside of Hamilton. Mass is crashed into Rosberg. Verstappen spun him round. Oh my word, the money began in P2. Our closest championship rival, although he's sort of 60 points back. Rosberg's been spun round. We're getting past Sergio Perez now. And we might even try and go hammer and tong with the German round the outside. Rosberg gives us a squeeze. And we managed to get the move done. Next up, Max Verstappen breaking into the final chicane. He goes round the outside of Hamilton. Verstappen chases the corner. Hamilton's cut across me and we spun him round two. Oh my god. What on earth is happening at the start of this Grand Prix? Perez and Bottas got past us. We're going to immediately re-overtake the Mexican. This is already on lap number two, don't forget. So all of this has happened sort of within the opening couple of laps. And there we go. That's the first corner cutting warning. The exact same place where my qualifying lap was invalidated. And if you ask me, that was barely corner cutting. That wasn't like deliberate cheesing of the corner. With that said, though, we're going up the inside of Massa and Valtteri Bottas. Double overtake on both Williams cars up into P4 with Max Verstappen in our sights next. However, Max Verstappen for some reason got past Fernando Alonso so Alonso somehow ended up in P2 we're going to go up the inside of the Spaniard now there we go give him a bit of a squeeze give him exactly what he gave to us and Verstappen is now up the road so I don't know how he managed to build up such a big lead on me because I consider myself to be quite quick here anyway here we go on the Dutchman the Red Bull's got the inside line we're going to try and stick to the racing line as much as possible however we get the move done before the corner now we've got to try and bridge an 8 second gap to Carlos Sainz and here we are on lap number six. I've said a couple of purple laps. We're trying everywhere to have a half look into the hairpin even to have a go at the Spaniard. But now the back straight. The AI weaving as they always do because they're a bit broken. We've got DRS. We sail past into the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. We've gone P10 to P1 before the end of lap six. That represents a solid start to this race. At the end of the next lap though, and I'm actually going to dive straight into the pit lane interestingly. I know I started on a harder compound of tyre, but I'm going to be aggressive and go for a two stop today. So we're going to now have two stints of ultra soft tyres. Great pit stop, 2.1 seconds from our pit crew. And we're going to leave the pit lane in P2. Signs 20 seconds down the road. So is Carlos Sainz potentially looking for his first podium of the season? He did so well last season. He was so underrated in terms of his drives. And actually, as we go on to lap 9, he indeed has pitted and we are comfortably ahead of the Spaniard. I don't know if you guys noticed Felipe Massa in the wall just then at the hairpin. Anyway, we're now getting past Pascal Verlein, the lap car. And after we overtook signs when he pitted, there wasn't really much else that happened for me in this Grand Prix. So the rest of this race is pretty much going to be 
a montage of me lapping cars. We're sort of halfway through the Grand Prix. We've got Kevin Magnussen next. We've got a few lap cars in the pit lane. That's a 112-1 fastest lap. First flying lap for me out of the pit lane. And this is Alonso out of the pits in 15th place. What a fall from grace, my word. I was about to say, what a fall from grace. And then we had to absolutely slam on the brakes to avoid him. I'm a poet and I don't know it. <laughs> anyway, sliding past Danny Kvyat there in the second Toro Rosso. This is now Daniel Ricciardo in P10. Not in, not, not, on, not quite on the moon, I should say, as he has been in a couple of races this season. Well, many races this season. We go around the outside of Grosjean. It's weird because Red Bull just seem to be so quick in quality, but then they're just so poor in the race. And look at this. This is Rosberg. No clue what's happening to Mercedes this year. The defending champion from season two, our closest championship rival, has been lapped. And now at the end of lap 12, I'm sick of these tyres already and we're coming in again. So this is a brand new set of Ultrasoft tyres, 2.4 seconds this time. And this time we will emerge in the lead, even with a slight pit stop glitch occurring, which keeps me in the pit lane for about five seconds extra than you would expect, particularly if I was controlling the car, say, if this was F1 2021, but it doesn't matter. This is now Marcus Ericsson and Lewis Hamilton outside the points. He was just invincible in season one and he's only had one podium finish this season. Absolutely incredible. This is now a three second time penalty for me for corner cutting. So I've now got 10 seconds worth of penalties because off camera I actually got a few more. I would say, I would, I would certainly wouldn't say that was corner cutting. This is the start of lap 16. Pascal Verlein, the lap car, he's not getting out of the way. But Verlein just cuts across and we've sort of spun into him. What on earth is going on there? That's what happens when you don't get out of the way. This is Rosberg and Massa. Same lap, separate incident down at the hairpin. Absolutely remarkable. Notice my teammate Raikkonen's now up into P3. And he's just been lapped. There we go. There is now a lap and a half left of this Grand Prix. Could we make history and lap every car on the grid? Yes is the answer. It's the final lap of the race. You just saw me lap Carlos Sainz, our nearest rival for today. This has been my most dominant drive ever. Just like Mexico in Monoposto, my team season three. We've won and lapped every car on the grid. I have absolutely no words to be honest. What? an incredible race that was there's your results from that hectic Canadian Grand Prix we still won by 1 minute 12 seconds even with 10 seconds worth of penalties but not there interestingly Harry Anto scoring points Hamilton Verstappen Rosberg no idea what happened to them three all in the mud Ricardo I think got a couple of points for Red Bull as well but interestingly Raikkonen on the podium so we're gonna have a huge lead in the constructors again here's the drivers championship we're only round 7 of 15 so sort of halfway through every driver's already scored points Harrianto, Ericsson and Gutierrez ahead of Hamilton. Hamilton's 13th. It is literally midway through the season. Red Bull, 8-9. Raikkonen now thankfully up into P2. We've got an 81 point lead in the drivers. But in the constructors, no other team is above 100 points yet. But we're over 200 points. We've got 129 points over Mercedes, who could yet be overtaken by Force India as they're only 7 seconds in front of them. Red Bull are 4th. Yeah, what a crazy race. Look at that Renault at bottom. They've got 22 points. That's absolutely mad. What a ridiculous race that was. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Let's get to 500 subscribers. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and join my Discord. Both links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye. What a race.